12 months ago you were in a very different position than where you are today. So what gave you the confidence to take on the leadership role? That confidence gap is, is if anything, probably one of the things that I um, feel most strongly about talking openly about because I think as women we tend to wait for that confidence gap to be filled before we feel like we can take on that next step. Um, and yet we are, we are such harsh critics of ourselves, we have a deficit approach to our skills, so we are sometimes seek perfection and our ability to be certain that we can do something that's the next step up to a level of perfection without ever really even having the chance to trial ourselves in it. So for me it's about how do you overcome the confidence gap, not by filling it with experience, and, but actually just by taking that leap of faith jumping. The qualified risk. Qualified risk, absolutely. And that, that I think is the thing that we probably don't talk about often enough. It's about how do I give myself that confidence and most often I think women tend to seek that by demonstrating that they're already qualified. They've already done it. Yeah. They've already done it. And it makes you very slow. Yes. So and, yeah, we hold back. And we take longer. So but my, my, probably my, my experience is a great example. Um, if anyone had said, right, well, well, you know, when you're ready, you go and step up then, would I have felt ready um, to necessarily have said, okay, um, now's the time for me to Let's charge go. ahead as leader of the Labour Party and run an election with seven, seven weeks um, up my sleeve to, to try and win. Most people probably wouldn't have said, I know that, I know I can, I can um, in absolute terms. But, but I did still have enough, uh, enough self-belief that I, that I could do it, that, that that got me there. But would I have, under different circumstances, necessarily sat there and put my hand up for it or push for it? Yeah. Probably not. So, to paraphrase, take the opportunities. Yeah. And when you can, make the opportunities. Um, yeah, my fallback's often been, if I feel like somehow I've got a deficit for something that someone suggested I do, take soundings from the people I trust. And if they say, you absolutely have what it takes to do it, I lean on them to fill yep. my confidence gap. You know, this little exercise I go through, even if I'm, you know, something's giving me a bit of angst, I go through this exercise of just them what. Okay, so we take that leap into that role and say I don't perform as well as I'd like. Well then what? What happens? Um, and if actually everything is tolerable, uh, even if you take the most negative approach, then it's probably worth having yeah. a go.